Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Should be coming. Oh boy. All right. Oh, oh. <laughs> Why did I forget that this was a thing? Hello YouTube, Moto Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Trex. And yes, folks, it has been a while since we last played this game, and we are finally back. Uh, there has actually been an update to the game. So one of the last episodes that we did, which might have been the last update, I think it was right around the end of May, uh, we had these little turntables here. Plus, we had built a brand new, we'll call this the big city, the grand city here. And yeah, we've got some more stuff to actually do here in Tracks. We got quite a few more items. So we're gonna be going over that here today. Uh, it'd be a, maybe a little bit different episode, maybe a little quicker episode because I really do wanna cover all the items. And then we will do a little bit of building. But this series was always about you guys, the viewers. So let me know down in the comment section below, what do you wanna see next in our train world? And I'm gonna go give you guys a little refresher as to what we already have here. So my objective was with this uh, series was to basically fill up one whole map. And as you can see, we've done quite a bit. So you've got the big city down here. This is the uh, the train station or the train central. This has the tunnels that take you out to all the individual uh, areas. This is the original city. This is where the series started. This was the uh, Komodoville. And then over here, you had the stunt track, which I think we might add to that a bit today. And then we're gonna go over here. You've got the mountain village, which is up top, and then you do have down here, it's like a little cave village uh, that you can go through, and it's inside of the mountain, so we can go through there. So as you emerge over here, we've got, I think this was called Greenville over here. Uh, so you got like a small town, and then we had the racetrack, which this is a very, very dizzy set of tracks with a ton of boosters on it. So you've got that, we've got the farm area, which this was uh, really one of the updates. This was a major area. You've got a river flowing through it, you've got all your little, uh, actually did we ever, oh we did, okay, we used the tractor. Thought maybe that was a new item. So yeah, you've got all the fields out here. Uh, Greenville's over there. I think we named this Farmville, if I'm not mistaken. Let me go ahead and check that real quick. Yep, it's Farmsville, actually. All right, so let's go to the next area. So over here, we've got a little, uh, a lot of you guys will notice this reference, Sandy Shores, which this was a very fun area to do. It's got like a nice little coastal area. You've got some islands, uh, the big bridges, and that leads back out to the main area where we started. So. I'm gonna go over some new items here, and I think it's gonna give you guys some ideas as to new areas we can build here in Tracks. So, if you're enjoying the return of Tracks, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, and let's jump into this. All right, I always get excited when I see new Tracks updates. So, what we have here, let's open the toy box up. The items that we have, now we've got one new building, which I don't know how this wasn't already in the game. This is a, a fire station, and it's actually quite magnificent looking. It might possibly be one of the biggest buildings besides the factory, and ooh, we're gonna have to redo some of the city in order to fit one of these in here. Wow, all right, so we've got that. Let's go ahead, we're gonna stick all of our new items out that way we can show you guys all of the update here. So let's go ahead and stick the fire station right there. All right, so let's go open up the toy box again. All right, that is it as far as buildings. Now we do have some decorations, and now this might seem kind of minor to some of you guys, but this is actually pretty big for me. I like having these little like mountain areas or cliff areas, so they now actually have some rocks here in the game. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, you can kind of merge these things together. Uh, let's go ahead and put some like that. That would look a lot better than the uh, the big square blocks that we have, so we might have to coat that. That would be an absolute process, though, to do. So you've got those. Uh, there's also some other selections of rocks. You've got rock piles, pebbles, uh, small rocks. So that's another thing. Now, here's a big one. We finally have some vehicles here in tracks. We had the tractor, and that was it. Now we actually have cars, which, by the way, do these? Oh, they do! Oh, I'm so happy about this. I was really hoping these would change colors. All right, so we've got a car here. So if I pull out another one, yes. Look at that, they have different colors. So now we really have to think about city streets. That's something we've not had to do in tracks. Uh, we kind of had openings for streets, but we never had any vehicles. So we can actually like stack some up through here. 
Say they're driving. Oh, we need like a bridge or something. We actually, we probably need to elevate the tracks at every opening now. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so let's go on to the next thing. All right, so next we have a bike. This is just a little cool bike. Uh, I don't think any of the Trex people are going to be riding it anytime soon, but still. Uh, so we can stick that there. I think that's a little bit more of a decor item. Like, I'm not going to place any of these out in traffic or anything, but they look good setting up by the houses. Alright, so we have a van for our next item. I'm assuming this is like the car. Uh, changes colors. I kind of wish we had like a truck or something. Oh, that would probably complete the vehicle line here. Yeah, you can actually see inside of it. It's got a little steering wheel and everything. That's kind of cool. Alright, so let's place a couple more of these around. Actually, uh, yeah, this would be another street right here. So let's go boom and boom. Okay, so what else do we have? I think we have a, uh, a postal van, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So we have a post office, do we not? I believe we do. It's going to be one of these buildings. Let's see if I have one here in town. Ah, there it is. So you got the post office, you got the little mailbox out front, and we have a little post van that we can use now. Man, I'm really going to have to rethink this whole city. The more I look at it, the more I'm like, this is tight, and there's not enough room for cars. Whoops. All right, so let's go to the next item, which I believe we have a helicopter. Now, this is something I was thinking about. I was like, man, if we can get a some sort of uh, airport... That would be cool. Now, I do believe there's a way. Can I place this in the air? Let me see here. See, there's an alt mode now that you can build in. You can stick stuff in the air. So, say if you wanted to stick an, a helicopter like hovering over the city, you could do something like that. And it's going to actually stay in the air now. So, this is pretty cool. And I don't know if this feature was here before. I'm going to assume maybe it was. I just didn't see it. Or maybe it is a part of the update, but... This will help it to make it look like there's actual stuff flying around. So you have the helicopters. So obviously I think we need to build an airport, which we might put a small one together here today. Uh, we also have an airplane. Now I think these vary too. So if I go boom, okay, those are all different colors. Do they change propellers or anything? Or is it all the same? I think it's going to be all the same. So yeah, you could stick these in the area. I don't know. Can we adjust these? I'd like to be able to adjust the height and maybe make them a bit higher, but... There's the, uh, there's the airplanes there. That's pretty neat. So, what we also have, we have new people to pick up. So, we have scuba people, and we have skydivers, and we have climbers. So, these would all be kind of themed to the different areas. Say the scuba divers would probably be over here in the coastal area. So, let's go over to one of the tracks. Alright, so we're going to place us a group of scuba divers here. Let's see what they look like. Alright, we're going to place you guys. Just get in right here. Look at them! They're all going scuba diving, I guess. It would kind of be odd if you arrived at a station and saw just that many people in scuba gear. You guys going to go to the station? They don't seem too keen on going to it. Maybe they're just going to stand there for a little bit. I think they'll eventually move over there. So we've got those. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and spawn in. Hmm, will we do the cliff or the climbers up here? The skydivers have me a little intrigued. Do they actually skydive? It just seems like a very odd group to me. Maybe they would be up in the mountain area. Alright, so say I placed you people up here. Will you guys hop up on the trains? Oh, that actually looks kind of neat. They look like a mixture of skydivers and some sort of explorers with those backpacks. <laughs> yeah, they're ready to go. Alright, so they lined up. Alright, so we've got those. And then I guess you could put climbers up here too. I mean, it is a mountain, so... That would make sense. Let's go ahead and get a group of climbers real quick, and we'll spawn those in. So let's go with 10. Do I have only one station? I think I only have one station. Will they mix groups? I don't know if they will or won't. Let's see here. All right, so we got the climbers. They look kind of cool. Yeah, they're going to go out there. They're going to sit next to their skydiving buddies. All right, so we've got those. So I do believe that is it for now. So, it's a really a couple items, some bug fixes. They changed some things with the tracks to make them smoother. Uh, apparently, some of the tracks were actually misaligned and causing some sort of derailment bugs. So, that might be the case with our space town up there. Uh, there was always a, a spot up there that I would derail on, and I wonder if that's fixed now. We might have to take a train up there. But, first thing is first. I think we're going to build probably a small airport. And I think it's going to be on the outside of the city here. 
Uh, what we're gonna do, let's get over to... We're gonna need to make this area kind of a forest, too. Uh, do we want to do it on the back side? I think we're gonna do it right here. So, we're gonna divert some tracks. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people have already commented, Hey, you need to do the airport. And I'm like, well, surprise, we're doing it this episode. Alright, so there is going to be a train station at the airport. It's going to be a pretty simple loop. I think maybe something like... Something like this. This is going to be as simple as it gets. Uh, I guess we could put a turntable in there. That way if we need to turn around... Oops, did not mean to delete that. Oh man, it's been so long since I've built in tracks. I had to go back and actually delete some of that. Alright, so we got a turntable in. And that's really just to turn yourself around. Uh, I don't need it for any other intersections, so I won't do actual connections out here. But if you want to spin your train around, say you want to reverse direction, it's probably pretty good to have that. So, we've got that. Now, the only problem I see, and sometimes this happens in tracks. Say, for instance, we get some of these new buildings, like, say, the fire station, but we didn't get a fire truck. And I kind of feel the same way about the planes. We don't have a hangar that goes with it. So we're going to have to improvise here today, folks. So let me go through the items real quick. All right, so we got planes. I guess we're going to have a grass runway because... Yeah, I don't see any other way around that, so we'll go ahead and place some of these down like that. Make sure they're changing colors. So they'll be lined up, uh, ready to be loaded. Actually, these are probably way, way too close to each other. Even if they're just parked, let's give them at least a two-block gap. There we go. And we'll give them one there. I'm probably going to close off this road. I don't want this to be a road out of the city, because the airport's got to be back here. So we've got that one. We'll put some mid-flight and stuff just to make it look good. Uh, let's go ahead and go with some helicopters. We'll put a couple over here. Man, I don't know exactly what buildings I'm going to use. Actually, those are probably still too close. Alright, so a couple things we need. We need a station. So we're going to make a regular station. I think we're going to stick it here just on the side. I don't want it to be the centerpiece of the actual uh, airfield. So... We'll do that. We're going to utilize the new uh, new fire station out here, even though we don't have uh, any sort of uh, fire trucks. We're going to stick that one off there. All right, so I'm thinking the runway is going to be out here. So maybe we'll surround it with trees or something. Hmm. Now, the question is, we need a building that looks like a centerpiece. It looks like a terminal or some sort of hangar, and I don't think we have that. That's the problem I'm seeing here. I mean, realistically, we could use something like a barn and say it's a hangar, but uh, it doesn't feel 100% right to me. Let's see. We might not have an option here. We might be using barns. So say if we had like a, a barn hangar here, and let's see. Yeah, this is kind of tricky to do right now. Hmm, we need a radio tower, which this will, uh, we'll put this out of the way of the runway, so we'll stick it like over here. And then, I guess we'll say runways, long ways this way, which I think I just rhymed a whole lot there. Uh, what we're going to do, let me go ahead and stick some trees around, that way I can kind of outline the runway and make it kind of seem like there's an actual lane there. And then I'll decide what I want to do with the other stuff right now, So I'm kind of confused as to how I want to do this. Alright, so, I think this is actually turning out good, even though we're kind of limited in the parts for an airport. So, uh, the train can pull through here, we can drop people off at the airport train station, which, by the way, while I'm thinking about it, let me go ahead, I always like to put these out because you guys are absolutely awesome about doing this, so I'm gonna put a blank sign out here. I need a name for the airport, so we're gonna stick this here, there we go. So you guys comment below with the names for an airport. So let me go ahead and kind of get you guys through this. This is the main area where the train will come through. You can pull in and park your cars over here. I really wish we get a road piece now. Like, that would really be awesome. But we're just going to pretend that they're uh, able to drive through. Maybe we'll hump this part of the track up into a bridge. That way cars can get under it. So, you can park there. You got a little fire station, uh, emergency post here, your radio tower. And I went ahead and fenced off the whole airfield. And really, all it is is a one grass strip. So this is a small time airport. So I've got the grass strip, it's empty. There is some trees around it, but I try to make it look like at least one lane. So we could grab, let's grab a plane here actually. 
We can grab a plane. Let's turn it around. Put it in alt mode. Can I adjust the height? I would love to be able to do that. And there might very well be a way to do that. But for the time being, this one's going to be like landing here. So that one's going to be landing. We're going to have one that's just sitting here getting ready to take off. So we'll put them right there. Actually, that one should probably not be in the air. Let's go ahead and go over there. There we go. And then we have some helicopters here on this side that are getting ready to... Well, I guess they're just sitting there right now. That looks pretty good, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. Even though the limited amount of parts we have, I think it came out good. I do need, and I see a very bad issue right here. And <laughs> Kind of the uh, the city has some weird access to the airstrip, and I, I don't think that needs to be a thing. So let me put a fence up real quick. All right, so that is fixed. This is actually pretty decent, I must say. So if you're coming by in your train... Man, if the planes actually moved, you could see some landing here as you go by the airstrip. This is starting to look a little live. I kind of have a, a weird blank spot over here, which we might just make it into a forest and over there, but we're starting to do it with this area. I'm pretty happy about these new parts. All right, let's go and get rid of some of these test objects. I really need to find a good way to utilize these rocks that they've included. Hmm... I don't think there's really anything at the airstrip that we can do. It's probably going to have to be where I coat some of that wall, some of that gray wall back there with the rocks. I guess you could stick some decorative rocks up here around the uh, the main area. I don't wonder, uh, do they stack? I know you can kind of stick them in each other, but do they stack any bit is the question. So say if we were to go boom, we can make something like a volcano, I think. Uh, if we go like boom. Oh, they do stack. So what happens when you layer them like, say this? Does that look okay? That actually doesn't look bad. You need to go even deeper with the layers to eliminate the little spots you can see through. But if you were to do that, I almost think you can get away with some sort of canyon or some sort of almost like volcano here. So if we put some in each other like that and like that, that doesn't look bad. You know, at least they allow you to do this in the game. If they didn't allow you to do this in the game, these big rocks would be maybe a little pointless. You know, we could do a desert area too. I was kind of hoping to see like a cactus or something, but we don't have that. But I do have a sand block and we could use some rocks out there. And maybe we can use some of these uh, green plants. I don't think we'd be putting these trees out there, but that could be a thing. So, I think that's going to wrap it up for this part over here. One last thing that I want to do, and I want to address this. This is something I don't believe I've ever done in tracks. Of course, we've had our stunt track here. And I was just watching the tracks, the... Uh, they had like a little uh, trailer for the new update, and I was watching them smash through all these things. And I don't think we've ever done this before. So, in tracks, these parts have always been here. The block tower and the boxes. Which, we might have done the boxes, but I was... Oh, well that instantly popped, didn't it? Did that pop because of the track, and is that going to disappear is the question. Uh, how does that work? Are those actually gonna explode the same time every time, or are they actually somewhat dynamic, is the question. So I can stick one right here, I think. Those are dynamic. Oh, we could do some crazy stunts with these. Okay, you know, let's do one of those real quick. Uh, let's go and open up the toy box again. Let's get the block tower. We can set these on the tracks, can't we? Oh, this might actually... I'm going to save the game. Oh, these are all dynamic pieces. Why have we not played with these before? Man, we can do some uh, some destructive stuff with these. Look how they're all falling down. That's weird that even... Okay, I'm just setting you down. Don't don't fall on me. Let's go. Huh? Oh, that one stayed up. Ooh, I want to run a train through this. Okay. We're going to go set our train up. I'm going to save the game real quick because I don't want it to crash and I don't want to lose that airport. All right, we're going to put our little train starting point right there. Let's go ahead and get the train in position, and let's add some carts. So, question is, I have for you guys, do you want to see more of the track series? I know I stopped it for a good while there, and now I'm kind of like, okay, should we bring it back? Do you guys want to see me continue to do this map? Because a lot of the videos were actually really popular, but it's a question of, do you still want to see this game on the channel? So... Right now, let's keep adding some passenger carts. We'll get a decent sized one here. There we go. 
Okay, so that's good to go there. Let's go and get on the train. Okay. All right, so train set. Let me go and get my camera set up. That way we'll uh, actually see some of the destruction here. All right, here we go. Choo choo. There we go. Whistle's going. Let's go ahead and make sure we're turning to the left here. All right, there we go. All right, so we are good to go. We're going to go crashing through those boxes. Now, I really hope there's a way to delete that stuff because I imagine that could lag out the game if you went really nutty with it. Which, maybe we'll devote an episode to some sort of wacky stunt track. Like, I know we have the one here, but one that we don't have to worry about crashing the game. And here we go. First bit of little blocks. Second blocks. Oh, I missed the thing. I missed it. Oh, okay. I missed the turn. We're supposed to go this way. Uh, we went the opposite way. I was too busy watching us crash through this one. That is cool. Can I remove these, though? Oh, how do you remove this stuff? That could be kind of tricky. Alright, so train is moving. We're coming from the other side now, so... Should be coming. Oh, boy. Alright. Oh, oh! <laughs> Why did I forget that this was a thing? Oh, that's actually really cool. Man, could you imagine sticking like a hundred of those stacks on like one really fast train line? Oh, man, we need to work on the stunt course more. Now, once again, the question is, how do we get rid of these loose items? Do I have to find the original block, or... Oh, boy, yeah, we might have to definitely do this. I don't want to spawn any more of these, actually. We might have to do these on a separate map, because look at all the pieces on the ground. We've made a mess with our toys here. Where'd our train go? Our train has disappeared into the abyss. Actually, no, it, uh, it went through the mountain and ended up over here. Okay, that's the thing. Hello, Mr. Train. All right, well, I think we're actually going to wrap up the episode here. It might be a little shorter episode, but it really was just to show you... Why are you guys standing in the track? Wait, do you want to get hit by the train or something? It's a little odd. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the brand new update. Kind of talk about the future of tracks a little bit on the channel. Uh, just seeing if you guys want to see more of this, because this is what you get with the tracks episode. You normally get like a build, and you get me screwing around with the train a little bit. I do want to bring another map uh, full of stunts and full of things that might break the game. I don't want to do more stuff like what we just did here in this map because I really don't want to lag it out. Like, I want to fill this thing with actual items and not just a bunch of random blocks I'm going to knock over. So, anyways, name the airport here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and we will see you guys next time in Tracks.